Yo, I'm literally starting to think that the utility and purpose of a story is to rebound you back into reality uh, in the way that you can carry on the story in your own life. Let me explain what I mean by that. Um, I feel like you, when you watch a good story or when you read a good story or consume a good story, um, there's two ways you can do uh, you can take it. You can or three. Uh, this is all off the top of my head, mind you, so this is just my idea. Uh, the first is that you can just watch it and forget it. You just go like, oh, that was kind of good, or that was pretty bad, and then that's it. That's all you. That's all the contact you have with that story. Or you can get so fucking into it that it becomes everything that you like. You just buy all the merchandise. This is your life. You just go to all the conventions, and you just like it that much. And the third option is you take the essence of the lesson. You take the essence of what that story was trying to convey to you, or an aspect of what that story was trying to convey to you, and you apply it to your own life. That's that rebounding effect that I'm talking about, where you actually consume the story, but then you utilize it in a way that you can carry on the story's message in your own life. So, uh, say like for me personally, <laughs> I watched something like Naruto back when I was 10, 11 years old, and the message I got from it was just to go hard, man. Go into what you're going to be, uh, go towards your dreams as hard as you can, um, and don't let anyone stop you. Uh, train, train like crazy. Uh, that's from Dragon Ball Z as well uh, and just watch yourself improve for this worthwhile goal um, that's what I got from Naruto and that's the kind of thing that I carry on in my own life I didn't get sucked into Naruto like oh man when's the next episode coming out or uh, when's the uh, next book I want to buy all the Naruto books or I want to buy all the Naruto merchandise or I I'd, I didn't get sucked into it that way. Rather, I took the lesson from it, and now I can actually carry on the message of Naruto in a way that, um, uh, in a way that I guess is more useful than <laughs> just buying all the merchandise to carry on the actual uh, uh, medium, I guess. Um, so <laughs> I was kind of getting off the train of thought. Um, so like the way like the way I would utilize it is by taking the message from it and carrying it on. That's why I feel like we need so many more good stories. Like we need stories that teach you something rather than just show you a bunch of cool stuff on the screen until it ends and you're just like, "Oh, that was a cool experience." There's no rebounding effect with that. It's just like, "Oh, that was pretty cool." And then you don't carry it on after that cuz there was nothing to carry on. So with a good story, you want to have uh, a message behind it that you can actually take into your own real life. And then, um, I don't know, like you'll, you'll actually be able to live um, in a way that resonates with what you took from the story. So like, uh, say something like One Piece, for example. I, I, I want to go on a world adventure with uh, a bunch of friends and then uh, just actually <laughs> have an adventure and then go to other people's countries, uh, find their uh, person in power, find their leader, uh, engage in one-on-one hand-to-hand combat, fisticuffs. <laughs> and if I beat him, the whole country changes their policies. So <laughs> because that's what... That's what happens in One Piece all the time. Um, so yeah, like if 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 you if you can take those lessons and uh, apply them to to what you want to do in real life, then uh, that to me is the most uh, important use of a good story. Uh, that's why creating a good anime is so important creating a good comic book is so important because those good stories 
are the kinds that'll actually influence the people who read them, whether positively or negatively, and uh, create the kind of future that um, that they resonate with from the book that you created. So if you make something like Naruto, you're gonna have a lot more motivated people coming out. Like just the cr just the fact that Dragon Ball Z exists has created so many people who are into fitness uh, who actually train really hard to um, to get stronger and to uh, become bodybuilders and whatnot and to in inspire other people to actually become bodybuilders and to uh, get stronger so like it the fundamental like lesson that those people gain from Dragon Ball Z is that you can improve yourself like you don't have to continue being the person that you are now you can always get stronger and improve yourself uh, whether it's you know physically or mentally it's just that message of improvement and uh, that's what people take into their life and it just becomes this uh, self-perpetuating message people share it like it resonates with people they share it with other people it resonates with um, and even to the point where uh, Dragon Ball Z is no longer credited as like the original source of that message it doesn't really matter because uh, that message has been perpetuated for so long uh, so to me that's the use of a really good story and um, that's what I hope to create um, with my own comics with my own stories uh, one day I'll get into the anime industry and once I wield that power things are gonna change and that's all I had to say uh, this has been Kami Ken and I'm out